welcome back to my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much. Hello students, happy learning. So with that, our objectives of the lesson first, recall the rules and order of operations on integers or ito yung dinatawag natin PEMDAS. Next, evaluate algebraic expressions for the given values of the variables. Ito po yung kailangan natin matutunan or ma-master this week. So with that, let's recall the PEMDAS. So this is a rule wherein do every operation from left to right. And then we have to know the meaning or it stands for P, parenthesis, A exponents, M is multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Okay, so I would like to emphasize, no, kapag meron tayong operation po na ganito, okay, kailangan masunod po natin yung kanilang series of operation. We have to follow first the parenthesis, exponent, multiply, divide, addition, subtraction, but... The addition to the subtraction have the same rule. Or ito yung pantay lang po sila. Also, multiplication and division. Okay, let's have an example. We are going to evaluate or simplify this one. So, 7 minus 2 times 4 square over 2 minus 3 plus 1. Okay, take a look at this. Meron po ba siyang parenthesis? Okay, that is 7 minus 2, di ba? Okay, and then what is 4 square? Kasi meron exponent. What is 4 square? That is 16. Then copy the over 2 and just copy also the minus 3 plus 1. And take note of this, diba? division po ito, 16 over 2, that will become 8. Kaya we have to copy as is the given and then that is 8. Okay, after you divide, you have to perform the multiplication, 5 times 8. Kasi kung mapapansin natin, diba, magkabaliktad or pwedeng mauna yung division or multiplication. Okay, kasi pantay lang po yung rule nila. And that is equal to 40, just copy as is minus 3 plus 1. Okay, and then 40 minus 3, that is equal to 37. Bring down natin yung 1, tsaka natin po i-add. That is our value of the given expression when we simplify. Okay, so with that, let's apply on evaluating algebraic expression. But before that, let's define. To evaluate an algebraic expression means to substitute the given specific values for the variables and then, simplify the resulting numerical expressions. Ang ibig lang sabihin po nito, kapag sinabi evaluate, we are going to substitute, i-replace -re natin yung given values for the variable para malaman natin yung value ng expression na yun. Okay, but before that, meron tayong steps to follow in evaluating algebra expression. First, substitute or replace the given values for each variable. And then, second, Simplify the first expression within the parenthesis. Kailangan tignan natin yung nasa loob. Yun yung papalitan natin. Okay, then perform the indicated operation by following the PEMDAS and simplify the result. Okay, let's have example 1. Evaluate the expression 2x plus 3 when x is equal to 4. Ibig sabihin yan, yung x po sa expression na 2x plus 3, papalitan po natin siya ng 4. Okay, so kung mapapansin natin, merong parenthesis, dyan po natin ilalagay or input yung value, which is 4. Kaya that will become 2 times 4, that is 8, and copy the 3, that will become 8 plus 3, that is equal to 11. Yan na po yung value natin of the given expression kapag na-evaluate na natin. Okay, so and then let's have another example to evaluate the expression x plus 3y when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 1. Okay, take note of this, no? Lagi pong given yung mga value na nire-replace natin kasi yun po yung i-evaluate natin given the values. Okay, and we we'll have to copy the given expression. All we have to do is, okay, maglagay tayo ng parenthesis to it indicates that you are going to substitute the given values of x and y doon sa given expression natin. Kaya yung x papalitan mo ng 2, kaya ito yun. And yung y naman, you have to replace by negative 1. Okay, be careful kapag substitute kailangan titignan natin para hindi po magkapalit yung value. And since 2 po yan, okay, just copy as is. So 3 times negative 1, that is negative 3. Tsaka natin i-perform yung subtraction. 2 minus 3, that is equal to negative 1. Okay, remember, the key change change, magre-reverse ka, kaya nga siya, mas malaki na yung iyong sinubtract. Kaya copy the sign of the subtraction. Okay, so and then let's have another example number three. I have here expression 2x squared minus 3xy minus 4. 
Okay, ito po yung substitute natin. X is equal to negative 3 and Y is equal to 5. All we have to do is copy the given expression and i-replace -re po natin yan by putting simply a parenthesis kasi dyan po ilalagay yung value natin. This is X na negative 3. Okay, ito yan. Kasi dalawa po yung X na yan, same lang yung i-replace -re natin. Tsaka yung Y natin, that is 5. Okay, and then you have to simplify first. Remember, exponent before multiply. Kaya negative 3 square, ibig sabihin yan, negative 3 times negative 3, that will become positive 9. Okay, take note ha. Be careful when you perform the operation. Okay? So, and then, all you have to do is copy muna yung 2. Tsaka natin i-perform po ito. Negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. Then, multiply the product by 5. Kaya that will become positive or plus 45. Tsaka natin i-copy yung minus 4. Tsaka natin i-perform yung multiplication dito before you add. Okay, sa PEMDAS. So take note, what is 2 times 9? That is 18. Tsaka natin i-copy yung 4, plus 45, tsaka minus 40. And then you can now do it from left to right. Kasi pantay na po yung rule ng addition subtraction. And that is 18 plus 45 minus 4 is equal to 59. Yan na po yung ating value. Okay? At let's have another number 4. I have here 4x squared minus 3y. When... X is equal to 1 half, tsaka yung Y natin ay 2 thirds. Okay, kung mapapansin natin, fraction po or rational lang ating substitute. All we have to do is copy the given expression, tapos yung may X tsaka Y dyan na variable, lalagyan natin ng parenthesis. So, it indicates that you are going to replace by the given value, which is X is 1 half, kaya ilagay po natin dyan. Yung Y naman is 2 thirds, then you can now simplify. But take note, may parenthesis pero may exponent. Mauuna po ang exponent. So meaning to say, get 1 half square. Ibig sabihin, 1 half times 1 half, magiging 1 fourth na po yan. Okay, so i-copy muna natin yung 4. Okay, do not multiply kasi mauna po yung exponent. And then, kung papapansin natin, 2 thirds times negative 3. Okay, pwede na natin dito pala makancel si 3. Divisible by 3, both yan. Kaya magiging 1 na lang po yung value. And since may 2 doon sa numerator, kaya negative 1 times 2, kaya magiging negative 2 po yan. Tsaka natin isimplify na yung dito. 4 times 1 4, pwede natin makancel yung 4, tsaka 4. Kasi 4 divided by 4 is 1 na po yan. Since may 1 sa numerator times natin by 1, okay, kaya 1 pa rin yan. And copy yung minus 2, that will become 1 minus 2. Kaya ang final answer natin is negative 1. Okay, let's have another number 5. Evaluate the expression 4a minus 2 divided by 3b minus 4. Where in, ang isa-substitute natin dyan, yung a ay negative 3, yung b ay positive 2. Okay, all we have to do is, okay, substitution or that is replace natin. Kaya meron pong parenthesis. Ano ipapalit ko po sa a? Yun yung given na negative 3. Okay, tsaka dun sa B natin, that is positive 2. Okay, and then you have to perform first the multiplication before minus. Kaya, what is 4 times negative 3? Diba negative 12 na yun? Dito naman, 3 times 2, that is 6. Kaya, ang magiging product nila is negative 12 over 6. Tsaka, i-copy lang natin yung minus 12, I mean minus 2, tsaka yung minus 4. Okay, and then you have to simplify the numerator. What is negative 12 minus 2? Remember, the keep change change for the subtraction of integers. Kaya magiging negative 40 na po yan. Sa so denominator naman, 6 minus 4, that is simply positive 2. Tsaka natin i-divide. What is negative 4 divided by 2? That is equal to negative 7. Remember, the division of integers with different sign. Kaya negative po yan. Okay, and then let's apply. So this is a problem solving, you know. Find the length and width of a rectangular garden if the length is 3 feet more than the width. Whose perimeter is 46 feet when x is equal to 10? Okay, so paano natin masasolve itong problem na to? Okay, we have to illustrate first the problem, which is the rectangular garden. Ito po yung shape nyo, yung rectangle, yung garden, yung shape. So ibig sabihin, we have to label first, asan po yung length niya? Okay, remember the length, ito po yung mahaba. Okay, and then... Ano yung ilalagay natin dyan sa length? Okay, the given is simply states that the length is 3 more than the width. Okay, ibig sabihin niyan, yung haba daw ng rectangular garden ay mas malaki ng 3 feet kaysa kay width or yung lapad. So, ibig sabihin, the expression is simply length is equal to x plus 3. Kaya more than plus po yun. Kaya x yun yung width. Kaya mas mataas siya ng tatlo. Okay. 
And then, eto naman yung ating width or yung lapad ng rectangular garden. So, meaning kasi if the length is x plus 3, so tatanggalin lang natin yung 3. Kasi, may, di ba, more than kasi yung length. Kaya eto, hindi, tatanggalin natin. Kaya x lang siya. Okay, therefore, from that, you can now solve. Okay, ano yung kailangan natin? Yung formula ng perimeter of the given rectangle. Remember, we have this formula P is equal to 2 length plus 2 W or 2 length plus 2 W or width. Okay, all we have to do is substitute the given expression for the length and at the same time the width. Okay, tsaka natin is substitute din yung perimeter. Ano ba yung given natin sa perimeter? So we have the perimeter is equal to 46 feet. Remember, when we say perimeter, the distance around a polygon. Yung paligid. Okay, yun yung ibig sabihin ng perimeter. Yung total surroundings of the polygon. Okay, all we have to do is substitute 46. And then also yung expression for the length is x plus 3. Ito yun. And at the same time, yung w or width, which is x. Ito yun. And then you can now substitute or evaluate na natin. Diba given po yung x, which is 10. I-replace po natin dito sa ating Okay, expression. Kaya we have to put parenthesis kasi dyan po i-replace which is x is equal to 10. Replace natin. And then you can now simplify inside the parenthesis. Remember the rule? 10 plus 3. Okay, so but before that, copy muna natin yung 46. And then copy yung 2. And that is equal to 13. And 2 times 10, that is equal to 20. Tsaka natin i-simplify po yung 2 times 13. Okay, remember... That is, copy muna natin yung 46 and that is equal to 26. Bring down yung plus 20. Tsaka natin i-add ito. 26 plus 20, ibig sabihin kapag in-add ko po yung nasa, left side, I mean, nasa right side of the equation, has the same, okay, yung measure or yung ating perimeter. Which is 46 is equal to 46. Ibig sabihin yan, tama yung pagkakasolve natin. They are equal. Okay, balikan natin yung tanong. So, find the length and width of the rectangular guard. Ano yung magiging sagot natin sa length? Ang length natin ngayon, ay 13 feet. Saan po nang galing yung 13 feet? Okay, ito po. So, kung makikita natin dito, 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. And that is, yung atin namang width is equal to 10. Okay, ito po yung given natin. And all we have to do is, saan makikita yun? Ibig sabihin, ito po ay, the length is equal to 13 feet. At yung width natin is 10 feet. Meaning to say, when you add the total surroundings of this rectangular garden, the perimeter is equal to 46 feet. Okay? So, ganun lang po kung paano mag-evaluate ng algebra expressions with the given values. Okay? Let's have... Okay, let's check what you already know about this lesson. Let's have number one. Evaluate x plus 5 when x is equal to 8. Okay? Timer starts. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is letter C. Okay, remember, when you substitute x, which is 8 plus 5, 13 na po yan. Okay, let's have number 2. Evaluate 2x plus 3y when x is 1 and y is equal to negative 1. Okay, 5 seconds to answer. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is letter B. Remember, when you substitute x, that will become positive 2 na to. And 3 times negative 1, that is negative 3. Or simply, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Okay? And let's have number 3. Evaluate 4x squared minus 2y when x is 3 and y is 2. 5 seconds to answer. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is letter D, 32. Okay, paano po na kuha yan? When you substitute x to the given expression, we have... Two, I mean, four raised, four times three raised to two, that will become three raised to two, that is nine times four, 36 na po ito. And since two yung y natin, you have to multiply doon sa negative two or minus two, that will become four. Kaya 36 minus four, that is 32. Okay, and last number, evaluate 5a minus 8 over 2b minus 3. For a is 4, b is 3. Five seconds to answer. Okay, times up. The correct answer is letter A, 4. Okay, remember when you substitute A, which is 4, kaya magiging 20 na po yung numerator, minus 8, kaya 12 po ito. And yung denominator naman, if you are going to replace B by 3, that will become 6 minus 3, kaya 3 po yan. Kaya since we have 12 divided by 3, that will become 4. Okay, so I hope you learned something about evaluating algebra expressions.